<clears throat> Hi, everybody. It's me, Jordan Long here. And today I want to talk about people who still don't believe I'm a vampire assassin. Or a vampire flayer, vampire hunter, whatever term you want to use. But I prefer vampire assassin. I tell you, I'm, I'm a real vampire assassin. Okay, I know people are going to say, well, Jordan, I never heard you before. I heard of Abraham Van Helsing, Abraham Wessler, Abigail Wessler, Charles Gunn, Gordon Walker, Daniel Holtz, Ava Richards, Reed, Gypsy Helen, uh, Peter Vincent, Buffy Summers, Carrie, Cora Young, Faith Lamin, Linden, I guess, or... London, I guess, um, you know, Edgar Fogg, Alan Fogg, for example, and there might be many other ones that I'm also failing not to, uh, you know, name here, but anyway, I think I named all the ones I can think of, regardless of all that, there's people who believe that I'm not a vampire, Seth, and, you know, people who believe I'm not. So, I guess I'll have to prove it today. So, one day, Jordan says, or actually one night, you know, I'm on patrol, and this happened. Hey, assassin. Yeah? I'm going to kill you. You're going to kill me. Yeah, I'm going to murder you. I'm going to turn you into one of me. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, what are you going to do? You're going to flay me? Stake me, dust me. Yeah, I'm going to do all that. Pull my crossbow out. I go, <sighs> Yeah, that's not the only time I had to, had to do it. You know, there's another time, another, it's another time I was on patrol. Jordan goes, why am I saying that for? It's like I'm reading a teleprompter or something. It's an old habit, I guess. Anyway, so another time I was on patrol, I made another one. Uh, you, you're stupid. And you definitely can't be a vampire assassin or a vampire flayer or a vampire killer. Oh, why not? Because you can't. That's why not. But I'm going to kill. I'm going to. I'm going to murder you. You think you are? Yeah, I know I am. Oh. Well, good luck trying to do that. Is there a way I can actually hold my crossbow without... without being blocked? Guess not. And I know you people are going to criticize me for using a crossbow instead of using a wooden stake. You're going to criticize me for, you know, not knowing a bunch of martial arts and knocking the vampire down and flaying them or staking them. You're going to criticize me for not taking the stake and pounding it into their chest when they're asleep and dusting them or flaying them that way. Okay? You're going to probably criticize me for all that. Well, I don't really care. If you don't believe I'm a vampire assassin, that is your problem, not mine. You know? But I am a vampire assassin. I do assassinate, flay, dust, kill, whatever you want, whatever term you want to use. Regardless if they're dramatic or romance. Um, you know, I do 
I am a vampire assassin. And just, I mentioned all those names. And if you can mention another one on, I, that I failed to mention in that video, then please tell me. But just because you heard of all them, you never heard of me, does not make, does not mean I'm a vamp, does not mean I'm not a vampire assassin, because I am. Okay? So, before I end this video, I'm going to show you another book that I got from the Carnegie Library McKeesport. I did not show off in the video on Sunday. So, hold on. Let me go get it. Buffy the Vampire Flayer, Tale of Flayers, Part 3. I know there's about multiple parts in this book. There's multiple books. It's the only one I could find the Carnegie Library McKeesport. See? So, unfortunately, I could not find any other one except that one. And that was the one I was I forgot to show off this Sunday. I mean, last Sunday. Okay? So, that's about it for me. I'm Jordan Long, and I'll see you later.